Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and we're doing the permadeath run through, uh, playthrough, uh, story mode, uh, center of the galaxy, highest difficult, well, uh, partial difficulty settings. It's basically the difficulty setting that you get when you switch to permadeath. The only exception I made is I turned off the game save. So if I die, uh, that's it. So we're going to continue on with this one and do this and see if we can get to the center of the galaxy and continue on with what we've got right now. So I've got a nice ship here, as you can see. This I'm going to use for most of my run from now on. I know there's some concern about getting a Sentinel ship this early, but like with any uh, difficult game, you kind of want to have a decent ship that you can use uh, to help you survive. So I'm going to do that for this run. Now I am going to be doing some permadeath uh, no starter ship challenges coming up and see how we do. We'll do them in like 45 minute increments like I'm doing this one here. So, uh, well, let's get started and let's get moving along here. Um, I have nothing else to grab. I should have plenty of stuff in inventory right now. This is on the ship, so we have enough stuff to keep us going for a little bit, as you can see. So I will be hanging on to this. The Mordite, I'm not so sure of. I'm probably going to get rid of that, but we'll see. We've got tons of chromatic metal, so I'm putting stuff on board my ship. I did uh, come across a warp hypercore, so I got lucky on that. So, not a bad ship. It's still C-class. Nothing special. Uh, we did get a Sentinel multi-tool. It's a B-class. Not too shabby. It's got one supercharged slot. Right now we have our laser in it because it's actually more powerful that way. We got a bolt caster in here. There really aren't any other supercharged slots on this unit, but hey, you know, whatever helps, helps. And of course in our main inventory on our exosuit, we've, we've uh, opened it up just a little bit, you know, by putting stuff on our ship. So, Let's hope for the best. We do have one supercharged slot up here, and we got one down here, so I was able to open those up. So it gives us a little more health and everything like that. So let's keep going with the storyline. There's really nothing more to do here at this point, so let's check out what our storyline tells us. Um, okay, we got to visit some life forms. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think we have to go back to a different system. I'm waiting for something to show up. Okay, alien outpost. Okay, very good. So we're going to hit C when we get out here. Okay, large outpost detected. We just got to wait for it to pop up on our screen. It's over this way. Right there. Okay, off we go. Undiscovered planet, so this is one planet we haven't landed on yet. It's gamma intensive, so we've got uranium here if we want to get extra uranium. How are we doing on that? About 428. Wouldn't mine a little bit more. Of course, I think we max out. Looks like we can go up to 1,000, right? Yes. All right, so another 500 would be kind of nice. That's on the ship. I think on our person, we don't get that far, right? Yeah, we can go up to 500 on our person. All right, here we go. Potential assistance, it says. It's an approximate location, so we're looking for this large outpost. So I'm assuming it's a large landing pad. Let's slow down real good and take a look. There it is. Wait for the landing pad to pop up, and we'll go ahead and land. There we go. First contact. So we're going to stop, and it points us at a specific person. So we're going to go to that person over here, the warrior. Let's see what he has to say. Ra interlopers, such little honor, Vikina are unimpressed. Through the garble of Artemis translators, clear to, that I am yet to make an impact among the Vikin. I need to improve my reputation, so we have to leave. So you know what that means? It means going back to the space station and taking on some missions. But we have to do this. It's part of the whole process while we're here. Good, health is at maximum. Good. All right, we'll, we'll be coming back here, so we'll do some searching around on the planet at another point. Go out in space, and we need to readjust and go to the space station. So we need to get some missions from the space station that will improve our, improve our uh, reputation. And then we can, see, raise your standing, mission boards, there you go. That's what we need to do. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get this done here. All 
right. We're going to keep hydrated on this one, too. Hopefully you can hear the game pretty well, and you can hear me hopefully just as well. Emergency broadcast detect local space. Slow down to intercept the sender. It's an emergency broadcast. They're going to want to make me fix something on their ship, so I'm going to hold off on that. Oh, look at this. Oh, I know what this started up. We're going to go ahead and grab them. Reject their lies. Follow us to freedom. Endless loop. Ship is broadcasting the same message over and over in an endless loop. This message has decayed over time, but there are still salvageable coordinates amid the noise. Shut down my receiver and input the coordinates of my starship's navigation computer systems. One final check reveals no life signs. Hang on. Losing my voice already. No further intelligent message from the abandoned vessel. Okay. Very interesting, huh? Okay, back to the space station. Under Rebel Star has now been added into our database here. So we're going to jump out real quick and reselect that. We'll come back to Under Rebel Star later. Like we said, though, we're going to do all the side missions while we're at it. So we're going to try to complete as many different types of submissions at the same time. Okay. Let's get up here and hit the mission board and see what we got we can do for the Viking. Now you can grab two missions if they're available. We got two of them right there. So we got to kill 14 creatures. I don't have a problem with that. And collect ammonia. Or we can kill sentinels. I really don't feel like killing sentinels, but creatures should be easier. So we get an exosuit upgrade chart from this one. We actually, if we do both, I wonder. Let's try that out. Let's try it out. We're going to start the mission. And we're going to start this mission too. If we can do them both, I don't know if we can get them both at the same time if we get 250 ammonia or if we have to get 500 ammonia. We have to source the items. How much money we got? You know what I'm thinking. I wonder if they're present over here because if they are we just have to gather it right nope okay worth a shot worth a shot we'll check the other one across the way because yeah you, know, you never you never know and always check these pilots too because sometimes he vanished he must have just gotten into his ship okay sometimes the pilots have it so we'll check this terminal over here if it has it great if not we'll go after a pilot gotta check my posture uh, let's see. Nope, got phosphorus. We don't have any ammonia. Okay. Grab the nanites while we're here. Always a smart move. And we'll check one or two of these pilots just real quick to see what they've got. Ooh, that's a sweet looking little ship, isn't it? S class as well, 27 mil. Hmm, we have the money to buy it. Kind of copper color and blue. Oh, man, I really do like that, you know? Hmm. Let's see what he has. Nope. Nothing. Must not be a very impressive system here. No, nope, he doesn't have it either. One last guy over here. Well, there's two, actually. We're not in a rush. This is not a speed run. He's got pyrite. Oh, no ammonia. We'll check the last guy over here, and if he's got it, great. If not, we'll go ahead and head out. Look for a planet that has it. Nope. Okay. We're out of here. So we got to scan for a planet with ammonia. So what we can do... Let's go to first person, and we're also going to go into our... Discoveries menu. Let's see what planets we've got. That doesn't. Well, that does have ammonia. Nashi. So that's the plant that's literally right in front of me, right? It does indeed. Okay. Well, let's look for an ammonia deposit and get it. And it should be 
a greenish, I think, colored substance on the ground. I'm glad my companion is ready to lay an egg. So happy you told me about that. All right. Careful. Remember, this is permadeath. I've done so many speed runs on my own of the new expedition that I've uh, got to reacclimate myself. Watching the menu up atop and seeing when it can find me a... Plenty of those things around. Yep, see, see, got plenty of those. Got the worms around here. I was just hoping we'd find... Oh, wait, that there. That might be good. It could be other stuff too, but let's try it out. Gotta be careful, we got a worm to our right. Right there. And that'll be a big worm. Look at that sucker, huh? Nice. Alright. So what is this? It's ammonia. Let's grab it. So we need we need 250, but I'm going to go ahead... Oh, go figure. It's depleted already, huh? And we don't have any silicate powder. We're going to have to use some ferrite dust. So let's do this. I'm going to put a little bit of ferrite dust in there. And we're going to gather up some silicon. I don't know if that's enough. Yeah, it was. We're going to do that. We're going to do a flattening, and that'll gather up a lot more silicate powder, I've learned. There we go. I did this on my expedition and it dug a lot faster and I never even had any idea it would do that. See? We're already at over 400. There we go. That should charge it all the way. Excellent. Yeah, we don't want to fill it in, especially while we're inside the hole. That would be annoying. All right, let's go ahead and gather up some more of this. So like I said, we need we need 250, but 500 would be a nice bonus just in case. And we got to watch our own hazard protection because it's falling, as it keeps telling me repeatedly. And we'll get this taken care of. And once again, I am not sitting up straight. I got to work on my posture. Gonna hurt my back one of these days. I'm getting too old for that garbage. Okay, 150, 160. We already had some in our inventory already from the first run through here, but. Now, see, it's counting at the bottom. <laughs> gonna indicate we hit 250, but we're gonna go a little further. There, we're at 250 right now. Let's wait for it to fade off our screen. <clears throat> there we go. Gonna watch it real closely because I'm starting to get to the danger zone. I think we have the ability to... Yeah, we're good. I thought we had plenty of batteries. We just used up two. In other words, we wasted one, kind of, so not a big deal. So I want to get another 250, just in case. Because I have a funny feeling that it might say, nope, you already turned in 250, you need 250 more. And that would stink. But if we're fortunate, it will look at both of these as being one. And I'll get both of them completed at the same time with just the first 250. And if we keep the other 250, that'll be fine because... We needed it anyway. We will need it, I guarantee you, one day. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 50. There we go. Let's see. 500 right on the nose. Good job. Where's our ship? You're not my ship. You were a plant. 
Off we go. All right, deliver it. Ordinance for a secure depot. There it is. So we got to be careful here because things could happen, right? How how far away? Is three minutes? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go up. Let's go up a little higher and we'll check it. I can't seem to get a lock on it. Hold on. Let's get up out of the atmosphere a little bit. There we go. Now it's locking right. We'll stay up just high, just for a moment while we float over it, and then we'll come in. There we go. That should work a little better. Down we go. Ah, okay, this place. And landing. All right. Wow. Conspicuously empty, is it not? Hmm. Okay, accessing. I found the client's secure lockbox. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. Deliver it. Okay. So that one's done. Let me just check now. See, I had to do it. Nope. Oh, did it just register that I did both? Deliver the goods. Oh, here it is. So we did have to deliver two sets of it. But it's not letting me do it unless... Oh, now that's over there. Okay, we have to go to a different location. I thought it was right in front of me. I had that off. Not a problem. So let's go ahead and do that. We got flying bugs here. I like it. We'll go up to the upper atmosphere real quick. We could have pulsed. But, eh, no big deal. Locked in. And there we go. So yeah, I guess I guess we're not gonna be able to keep the other 250. That's no big deal. But I'm glad we grabbed another 250 just in case, and it turned out that that's exactly what we needed to do. Okay, so that's good. I did the smart thing, I guess. Landing we go. All right, so let's turn this in. A little bummed that I can't keep it, but whatever. Nice picture, eh? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take it. Why not? You always got to get souvenir pictures, guys. Okay? Stop and smell the roses, as they say. Okay. Same thing. We're delivering. We're done. Let's go ahead and turn in our... Turn in our goods. That should get me two... Reputation points higher, and we're done. And off we go. Should hit that space station here in just a few seconds. Bingo. Flip over, we're hitting it upside down. Whoa. Almost didn't pull me in. like that. Little sound effects. Alright. And we're in. Okay, let's turn this stuff in. That'll get us our reputation points up too. And then we can get the star map looked at and we can continue with the Artemis storyline. Okay. So we're going to turn this one in. And... And in missions. There we go. So that should do it. 
So we got two upgrade charts, as you can see. So that's going to be a good... It only gave me one. Ooh, that bum. It only gave me one. You cheapskate. Did I hand in both? Well, I'll be. All right. Yeah, it only gave me one. That was rude. Wow, it gypped me. Look at that. I tried to pull a fast one. It pulled a fast one on me. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. It's very tempting, you know? Trade in my own ship for this thing. Uh. All right. Maybe I lied about this system. Might be a good system after all. All right, what's the plan? We gotta go this way. We got our rank, so we gotta go land back at the planet. Our potential assistance. Now let's see what we can do. Very interesting. So I got gypped. I could, I should have got two upgrades, but I didn't. So we're gonna get upgrades as we go. I should have got one while I was at the space station. I think I already did. I don't remember. We'll go back and we'll check it out. Because we didn't get the nanites, so. And I got them this time around. Down we go. And we're going to boost our engines a little faster so we can get into the atmosphere quicker. And it does help, I promise you. I have noticed a big difference in speed. Okay, upwards we go. Let's go talk to this fellow over here. All right, as I approach the life form, they spit in onto their own palm and bow to me. They issue only a single noise. Gra. It is unclear if Artemis translator is working. Spit and bow to the life form. I want to show respect. Gra. Death. Death. Spit and bow to the life form. Interlopa should calm down instead. Gra, Interlopa should learn manners. Death, death. So I, we're going to start. Stop spitting. We're going to headbutt them. I headbutt the life form. They do not move. They do not register any pain. They just stare at me for a while. Eventually they laugh. Gra, amusing. Ask your question, a pathetic Interloper. I shall answer. Give the star chart. I ask the life form to decode Artemis' star chart and provide a route to their location. What is this nonsense? This location does not exist, or the Viking would know. I could ask if they made a mistake, but that's insulting. So just thank them and leave. Ra, do not thank. Leave. <laughs> you gotta love the Viking. This is something about him. All right, we're gonna return to space. Bring news to Artemis. Local life forms are unable to identify his location. Okay, here we go. And what we can do while we're here. Nah, that's the wrong button. We can go here. And we'll go hit that drop pod and upgrade our... Our uh, exosuit. Because we could use the upgrades. That didn't work at all. There you are. Found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell them what happened. Tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Ask how Artemis got there. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars... They've altered since I made the chart. Blinked out in... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. Comfort Artemis. I try to comfort Artemis, but my words feel strangely hollow. I can do nothing. Artemis speaks to me again. I discovered the glyphs for a portal traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would le lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I 
I was so wrong. I I can see their faces. I, there are seeds of glass within there. Ask for the glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented in the volume in the crash. I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't. 16. Warn your face. It. Please, not yet. I'm not. The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Register the ID. Frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Okay. Very interesting, right? So we're going to bring news of Artemis signal loss to Nada. And we're going to go to the anomaly here right after I get this drop pod thing done. Do we have... 14 navigation data. Okay. No harm in grabbing more. Ah, see the cloud? Yeah. One of these days, I'll be able to do that. Okay, so we need sodium nitrate. We'll need one of these antimatter housings. And we'll need a carbon nanotube. There we go. Okay, we should have enough. Exosuit upgrade. Antimatter housing. Sodium. Carbon nanotube. And that'll give us a new spot. So I'm going to continue across this. I'd like to, let me even this one out real quick, and then we're going to continue across the top. We'll start add. Once we get this squared out, we'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more over here. We're going to start opening this up a little bit more. So. No, it's not, because we're getting back in our ship. Okay, off we go. We need to search for Apollo. Another C to scan. And we're going to find a hollow terminus over there. It looks like it's a completely different planet. Or is it the same planet? Nope, it's a different one. Do we have this planet? Have we been here? No. This planet is... Ashen. Activated copper, pyrite, and silver. So this is a hot planet, and it's prone to storms. Looks like there's a storm going on right now. So, let's see how we can do. Let's see what we got going on. Now I'm going to let my pulse drive to get really, really low here because one of those shards will be enough to fill it all. Now it's an approximate location. We just got to get through the clouds. Um, I can't see a blessed thing. Thank heavens the storm's clearing. Hold still. We'll wait for the storm to completely clear, and we should be able to just look around and see if we can't find it. Okay, now we're clear. Oh, one of these planets. We all know how much I love these planets. Uh, that might be it. What are we doing on nanites? 1200? really should start discovering more animals as we go because some of the things that we get like this it might get us some extra cash just by scanning them 13,000 it's not bad look at that look at how fast it's dropping good gravy all right we need to get up this thing falling fast and it isn't in the middle of a storm Look at it drop. Wow. Okay, we're going to use nitrate this time, and then we're going to hit this real fast. Okay, multiple signal sources. Tune to Apollo. Let's hit it. And we got to get this conversation done quickly. Transmission silent. Stranger just stares at me. Greet Apollo. Identify yourself I end this call. Tell me you're a friend of Artemis. No, you're not. Ask why. Why do you use that word at all? Friend, it is just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. 
Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care about their weird dreams. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. Say Artemis is in trouble. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble, that they attempted to use a portal and become and became stranded in some distant uncharted world, disappearing from the network. Apollo's demeanor changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Upload the log. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted, inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the Sentinels appear so quickly. And this, the portals, perhaps they're the key. Agree. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? Accept. If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you a contact of, to a contact of mine. They'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. Communication. As the hologram recedes, Paula's head turns to the side ever so slightly, as if sighing, saddened. Perhaps it was nothing, a ghost in the machine. Indeed. These planets have a lot of flying creatures a lot of the times. I'm going to have to be careful. Six seconds. There we go. Look at how many creatures are here. All flying. Isn't that amazing? Four or five. So there might be one ground-based creature here someplace. Let's find out real quick. Because if we can get them all, that'll be 1,250 more nanites. Underground, it says. Probably not going to find them. Alright, where's my ship at? There she is. Is there a cave nearby? Usually. Wow. It is fast. Okay, we're going to get in our ship. Let it boost up just a little bit. It's amazing how hot it is on this planet. So maybe we can't discover them all. So that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get going. We'll discover them on a more hospitable planet. All right. So, we're going to go into space. I think our hyperdrive is charged up. We're going to find out in a moment. Yep, we're okay. Do we get more energy? Yes, yes. Okay, so that's a decent one. We're going to go to his contact over here. Let's go ahead over there. Get this going. So, he'll give us more information. We're going to go back to our base. And we're going to start expanding our operations. By doing so, we'll get more components and stuff like that, too, for ourselves, for our ship, things like that. Now, I'm assuming they're on board the space station. Yes, they are. Okay. In this space station, we're going to go ahead and hit the exosuit upgrade area real quick. Anything to sell? Nothing there. What about on our starship? I like to gather up things and not have to sell too much. That's our pulse drive. Crimson Core. Okay. Alright, let's get a move on. We'll go to the other side in a, in a moment. We're going to have to start upgrading soon so we can uh, survive these planets that we go to. And we got to talk to Nada. I forgot about that. Alright, purchase upgrade modules. Let me just see what he's got. I think he has the thermal protection we could use. I think I'll do that. Because those are the planets that hurt the most, I tell you what. Alright, goes next to our shields. Wow, we don't really have any room up there. I think it's time to start upgrading up here. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so that is supercharged, but it doesn't affect these. So we're going to leave it there. 
And while we're here, let's go ahead and fill it in. Okay, good. All right, we're good here. Let's go to the other side. Always nice to take a look around the other ships. Very interesting. All right, this guy right here, the secret keeper, huh? Ah, friend, you've arrived as scheduled. All the proper permits have been filed and exciting new tools await you. Joy, I have plans to update both base and exosuit. Where is your base sited? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? Now, I already got heat protection here, so why don't we do cold protection? I think that'll be the next one to go with. Clever friend, may your home always be a sanctuary wherever you explore in the universe. And we didn't get much of an upgrade out of him. We'll get a B class. It's not terrible. And we'll go ahead and put it in here. Let's move this over here. And I'll put it up here. So now we have some cold protection. It won't last long, but it'll last longer than what I, what I had. Okay. Return to your base. Or you can use the space station terminal to get there quicker. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Two cold bits. That's hilarious. I forgot I named it that. It's been a couple weeks since I actually recorded, so, uh, yeah. Because it was gone over a weekend. And that's when all my recordings happen. They usually happen Friday nights and Saturday nights, so. Okay, we're coming to the end of our video here soon. Another ten more minutes, and I think we'll be wrapping this up. There we go. We're back. And we're out of power. Let's go ahead and go to our furnace. We're going to throw some stuff in it real quick. Uh, let's see. How about oxygen? There we go. And we'll let it store power. And do we have the ability to build anything else yet? Let me see. Nope, we didn't get anything else. Okay, not a problem. We'll get that later. All right, so what's the plan here? Let's go back to our log. We need to expand the base. Build a construction terminal, which I thought we did... Isn't it right here? Oh, it needs an overseer. We need a construction terminal for which to work. The overseer will allow... Oh, one of those. Never mind. I know what it means. That is what it wants me to build. We need 25 pure ferrite. Okay. Well, this is our portable refiner. Let's go ahead and use that. We need pure ferrite, which is uh, equivalent to ferrite dust. We don't have enough ferrite dust. Let's go out and get some ferrite dust. I don't mind these cold planets, to be honest with you. They're pretty good. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, I haven't scanned that yet. Let's check out the secondary element. Carbon. That's good. And we got a geode out of it, too. That's nice. One pure ferrite, huh? Nice. Really cruising now. Now we're up to 54. We'll get more. We do need more ferrite. Hi guys, did I already scan all you guys? Yeah, probably. Landed pilot over there. Let's check it out. If I can get to him. These are handy to come by. I don't have many nanites left, but maybe he has something. It has a protection life support scanner module, mining beam, launchers, movement modules, shield, hyperdrive, hmm, pulse. I can buy one right now. Starship shield would be kind of nice. But movement module is definitely handy, and I don't have much room in there. So let's go to the ship. Should we do hyperdrive or starship shield? I think I'm going to go with the shield for now, because we definitely want to, you know, protect ourselves and our ship. Probably out of range, yeah, okay. So hopefully it'll be something, we'll see. We'll see if that works for us. While we're here, get some ferrite dust. All right. Scan everything. I 
All right, so what do we got? 154. Kind of need more. Like we already scanned that. All right, that should do for now. Get back to our ship. Uh, no, this is called our base. Okay, so we need a construction terminal. So we really kind of need to expand our base a little bit. We need more room. So since we have a little bit of carbon, let's go ahead and just expand the base a little bit. Uh, let's see, let's go out here. All right, that should be good. Put up a wall. And we need some of these. One, two, three. We can get the angle four. There we go. All right. Got some room now. Let's go ahead and put your guy here. Do we have what we need? We do. So construction terminal is going to be our main terminal here. For our main guy, so we're gonna put him right there. And for this, I wanna pick that up and I'm gonna move it over here. Okay, we're good. There we go. We've got to hire a base overseer. So let's go ahead and hire the base overseer. We'll get that taken care of. Um, it looks like we can hire him straight from our own system. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll use our base terminus to get up there space stations and always say current system so there we go we'll get our base overseer which is going to be a quick jump see we're already at the base and he's probably over there all right Excellent. So let's see who this is. It's always a Gek, every single time. Merchant. Uh, Agastunan. Is it really you? Forgive me, I've been searching for such a long time. I'm contracted, I am contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. As the stranger speaks, a smell assaults me, a pheromone infesting my brain and giving me memories of places I'd never visited and of actions I never took. Of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this geck cradling their fallen brethren, of a bargain made many years from now, contract signed across the cosmos. The vision ends, and the overseer remains. The overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started, which we already got, so we're going to hire them. There is something compelling about this geck. They shall feel at home in my home. I will be at my station before you know it. See you soon, friend. Leave. So we're done. And we are going to end our episode here. So let's go back to our base. We're going to use the terminal. There we go. We'll head back over and then we'll bring this particular episode to an end. So not very exciting, but it is a progression of this. And that's what we need to do. And the progression will be through the storyline. And again, we're in permadeath, so we've got to be careful. But other than that, there we go. And there he is. There. Let's go talk to him real quick. You have so much to learn, so much to see. And this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Accept the glass. Very good. So now we have the formula. It requires 40 frost crystals, but we can actually use other things, as you know. Everything pours through glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. If you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Carvax entity. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. The overseer asked me to gather chromatic metal in preparation for the recruitment of a Corvax scientist. Merchant Agastunin is already making themselves useful. A science terminal, a new Corvax guest, and all for just a handful of chromatic metal. 
Now we already got it, so we're going to turn it in next time. So let's go ahead and do a little uh, picture with uh, our guy here. Let's just do that. And we're going to pull back and around, and I'm, I've disappeared. Look at that. There we go. There we go. And maybe I don't think we can get any better lighting with this. Nope, made no difference. I was hoping it would. So, it's me and the Gek. And here we are. Nice little picture for our startup screen for this episode. So I want to thank you all for watching, and we're going to see you all in the next episode. And uh, we'll pick up where we left off. I mean, we've got some things to do, as you know. We, we see the Ghost in the Machine is where we're going to be going. We're expanding our base. We've got a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to go ahead and continue on the Ghost in the Machine path and see if we can figure out what happened to Artemis and see if uh, we can rescue her. So we'll get to that here in, in the next episode. Again, I want to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.